we consider g equal to z3 with addition modulo 3 and we take a to be 1 b equal to 2 now z3 is a cyclic group of order 3 in which these elements 1 and 2 are generators therefore order of a equal to 1 order of b is 2 this you can verify the order directly okay now what is order of a b now a b is equal to note that here a b means that a into b this product is taken in the operation given in this group okay suppose g is a group with respect to star then this means that order of a star b a star b okay but now we are in the additive group therefore this a b means that a addition model of 3 b but what is one addition model of 3 2 so 1 plus 2 is 3 but 3 is 0 okay therefore a b is uh, equal to identity element in this group therefore order of a b is 0 but if this result is true then this order of a b should be product of these two numbers order of a b should have been 9 but we are getting order of a b equal to 0 therefore this result is definitely not true but we want to say more okay okay let's okay we know that this is false we ask a weaker question order of a is finite order of b is finite order of a b is not equal to order of a into order of b that is fine but at least order of a b is finite number okay order of a b is not equal to order of a into order of b that is fine but at least if this is finite this is finite does it implies that this is finite okay so even that is not true let's see an example if order of a is finite order of b is finite then order of a b even need not be finite okay if i to this equality to be to be hold first this to be a finite number but even that is not true that is the beauty of uh, this example so we define a new group to be set of all bijections from r to r basically permutations on the set r set of all real numbers and we look at the function f so now this is a set of all bijections you are considering so it is a group under composition of functions and therefore the identity element of this group will be identity function from r to r okay now we define a function uh, define an element f belongs to this group f of x equal to minus x f of x equal to minus x is clearly a bijection similarly you can prove g of x equal to 1 minus x is also a bijection from r to r therefore uh, you get this f and g they are both elements of this group g now we calculate the order of the group uh, elements f and g so if you compute the f composition f of x basically you are calculating f square so f composition f of x equal to f of f of x uh, f of f of x by definition so f of x is minus x so it is f of minus x what f does is if you give something to it it will change it to its negative so minus x will change it to minus of minus x you get x therefore f composition f of x equal to x that means that f composition f is the identity function therefore f square equal f square equal to identity that means that order of f is 2 okay similarly you calculate uh, g composition g you will again get identity function okay g composition g of x equal to g of g of x what is g of x g of x is 1 minus x okay now g of 1 minus x equal to what g does if you give a x to it it will first change it to negative then add 1 to it or if you give a x it will subtract uh, x from 1 that is what g does so if you give 1 minus x to g it will subtract 1 minus x from 1 okay so you get uh, this uh, value is 1 minus 1 by x that is basically x therefore g composition g is a function which takes x to x by which function takes x to x identity function therefore g square equal to identity that means that order of g equal to 2 therefore these two elements have f and g has they have finite order let's look at the order of its composition okay first we see what is the composition of f and g so f composition g of x we call this function h f composition g of x equal to f of g of x g of x is 1 minus x so f of 1 minus x so f of 1 minus x will be minus 1 minus x we get this is x minus 1 therefore f composition g of x will be x minus 1 we call it h as i said 
so we look at its uh, square so h composition h of x equal to h of h of x but what is uh, h of x it is x minus 1 therefore h of x minus 1 now what h does if you put a x it will just subtract 1 from it so if you give x minus 1 it will subtract 1 from it so you get x minus 2 now if you similarly calculate h composition h composition h of x you will get x minus 3 okay so when you keep doing it will get x minus 3 x minus 4 x minus 5 and so on it will never be x okay therefore no power of h h power k will never be equal to identity therefore the element h has infinite order okay therefore order of h is not finite so we conclude that even if order of a is finite and order of b is finite order of a b need not be finite this is a very very important example which is asked in the interviews many times in CSIR and other competitive exam also asked many times so please remember this example okay okay so if you learn something new from this video please like my video and subscribe to my channel thank you